Hey guys, probably six, seven months ago, I put out a video on this tactical flashlight here from Bryn Knight. Uh, this was a prototype that they sent me, and just here in July, it just finally reached the market to where everybody else can buy it. It's a pretty cool light. You can go back and watch my video on that, but the same company has sent me this here. It's called the WT-01 Apollo and it's got some pretty unique features um just over a thousand lumens which isn't the brightest as far as today's standards but this is a pretty unique light so we'll kind of go over some of the things with it and it, it has a throw of like 350 yards um but this is the package that it comes in here and i'll show you some of those specs uh the top of it is open i almost kind of wish that the box that this one all the way in it's actually kind of difficult to it's a box inside of this outside box um but i'm going to get this out and kind of show you everything that came with it all right so this was the box that was inside of this blue box and it has like a magnetic closure here and then these things are actually like glued into here so all of this was inside of this and so this is the flashlight itself it's kind of kind of beefy see i cannot get my hand to wrap all the way around the whole thing so it's um, we'll kind of go over some details on it later, but a really, really nice holster. Uh, it's, it's solid. Like it feels nice with the rotating clip on it. So you can wear it vertical or horizontal. Uh, you can just tell that the qualities on this, the materials are of good quality. It's got a nice padding on the inside of that. Nice Velcro. That's actually a decent holster. Most of those are pretty junk, but that one actually is pretty good. Uh, it comes with a 26650 battery. This is a tube that you can put inside and use an 18650 um, instead. Uh, this is a charging cradle. We'll go over this in a bit. Comes with a car adapter. Comes with a micro USB cable. And then mine came with the wall adapter, but it's a European style. So either, I, they said they'll send me another one. Um, you can just use any phone adapter, to, you know, any AC adapter is fine. They do make other adapters that you can plug this in that then has your standard US, uh, but I've been able to charge it just off of regular phone adapters. I was messing around with this holster here and it actually has a spot for two different batteries on it. Uh, so I have an 18650 on this side over here. And then this is the 26650 that came with it. So there's there's two different sizes that you can put in here. Um, something else, uh, you know, I, I'm not 100% sure if the light is supposed to be bezel down in the holster or bezel up. It has this cutout here which it looks like the, the tail here is supposed to fit in. Uh, but when you do that, can you see how much of the Velcro is not, there's not that much that's actually sticking to it. So I, I would have much rather this Velcro to come all the way, like none of this is, is stuck at all on there. So I'd rather that come down. And then when you put it in the other way, like I actually think that it fits better the other way. And you can see how there's like this cutout right here and to me, it's a good spot to put that switch so that it doesn't get accidentally hit. But when you put it this way, that clearly doesn't go over it, but it seems like the Velcro actually fits better there. But that's not right. So it, it's probably supposed to go the other way, but I just think that they could have done a little bit better. Even though it's a high, super high quality holster, uh, I just had a little issue with that. I'm gonna do some close-ups here of the light itself. And do keep in mind that this is a prototype still. Uh, I, I, to my knowledge, I don't think that they're completely finished with it. Uh, but you can see that it says the W201 Apollo. Um, it's got really good machining, good heat sinking. Uh, the one thing that I, I do notice a little bit, and may not pick up that well on camera, is that the head and the body appear to be one shade of black. And the tail down here seems to be a slightly different. It's almost like a grayish black. Um, in fact, you might be able to see how that's a shade of black and then that's a slightly different shade. This matches this much better, but that's like a, a grayish. Um, and then 
I personally don't care for the, the green button here. Uh, it's just, just my opinion. Uh, I, I think either clear would have been better because this button does illuminate, which we'll show in a bit, um, or even a black with some LEDs underneath of it uh, to show when you're charging. Got a really nice, uh, this is I think the SST40, I believe, LED that's in that. The operation of the light is pretty simple. Uh, it always comes on on the highest setting, which is their what they consider turbo. So basically just one press of this turns it on on this turbo setting, uh, which is over a thousand, it's 1100 lumens uh, with a throw of well over 300 yards. And I'll show you some nighttime video here in a little bit. And that, that is legit. And then basically another press will cycle you down to like what they consider their high, another is their medium, another is their low, and then you're off. Pretty simple. Uh, if you want to get to their hidden modes, uh, you basically just uh, press and hold, and that goes into a strobe. And then one more press of that will take into an SOS, and those are all the features. So you get turbo high, medium, low, strobe, SOS. Uh, that does bring me to one of my complaints. Again, nothing wrong with the light, but if you want to get to low, you have to turn this thing on and then cycle all the way down to low. Um, vice versa, if you turn it on and you want turbo, but then you want to turn it off, you gotta press through all of these to turn it off. Uh, for for like the lay person, uh, someone who doesn't deal a whole lot with flashlights, it's actually not too, too bad, you know, because you, you, you gotta cycle through, but it's too many steps for me to get to the, to the settings that I want. I also wish that it had mode memory, you know, if, if I turn it off, I'd like to be able to turn it off in medium, turn it back on in medium, or you know any setting for that matter. But you, but you can't. It's it's always turbo every single time you turn it on. It's always going to be that turbo setting, and then you have to cycle all the way through to shut it off. So that's just not my favorite. Again, nothing wrong with the light. That's just the how that they have it set up. I'll show you here real quick. Pulling out this big twenty six six fifty. If you want to use the smaller battery, you just drop that tube in. You drop your battery, and you can see how. It still makes the contacts and uh, the light will probably come on here. Yeah, see it's already on. And then we'll shut this off and then show you that it works with that smaller. It's the same user interface though. You turbo and all the way down through to shut it off. Press and hold for your special modes. So one of the things that's kind of unique about this flashlight is in here is a whole bunch of like copper wires that are like wrapped around here. And it's basically wireless charging. Uh, so this cradle here, basically have it plugged into like your wall adapter, which I'm gonna use this power bank as it. But then you just set the flashlight down in there. And I don't know if you can see how there's that orange light that's glowing now. There you go, now you can see it. So that will stay orange until it's fully charged and then it'll light up green. So the other thing that's kind of unique about it is let's say that there is a power outage. So I'm gonna disconnect from here and the light automatically comes on then. See that? So it comes on on the low setting if there's a power outage. So another kind of nice feature about this Brenite is that let's say you have it on the charging cradle and if it's fully charged, it's the full green light. If it's charging, it's the orange, but either way you can see it in the middle of the night if you need a flashlight and you walk over to it and you just pick it off of the cradle, the light automatically comes on too. It comes on in that low setting and you can actually get over six days of continuous runtime on this low setting. It, it is pretty incredible. Uh, it's like 6.25 days that you can get out of it. But just overall, it, it, it's a really high quality light. I don't like that green switch for the appearance. Uh, I, I think that they could have done a black with the LEDs and still have it show through. Uh, but when you pick it up, man, it just, it feels really good. I don't think it's too heavy that, I, I think law enforcement could use this. Obviously homeowners, uh, you know, search and rescue. Uh, in the nighttime uh, video, you'll see that this thing throws, I mean, it, it does throw probably 300 yards. 
Uh, so if you were trying to look out into a field or something like that, it, it's really good for that. Okay, outside here with this uh, Brenite, but uh, probably 80 feet or so away from my house. We'll see what it looks like on high here. Trees across the way there are a couple hundred feet away. Lights them up pretty easily. So my final thoughts on it is it is a pretty cool light. It's got some cool features with this wireless charging, how it automatically comes on during a power outage or uh, when you lift it off of it. It comes with this very good 26650 battery, which basically runs forever. Um, it also comes with the tubes that you can run the more traditional 18650 batteries. They're a little less expensive. Uh, but these, you get like 3,000 milliamps. And the big one here, you get like 5,000. So it lasts almost twice as long. So you got to consider that. I don't know what the pricing is going to be for sure. So I can't say if it's a good deal or not. Um, I know you get a lot of stuff with it. So, and I've had this one here, like I said, for six or seven months. And I can say that the quality is definitely there. And this thing's like crazy bright. And I, I use this light all the time. So they do put out a good product. We'll just have to kind of wait and see what the final price on this is going to be. Uh, one thing I can say too, uh, I've put this on, on the turbo, the high setting here, and I've let this run for 15, 20 minutes straight and it never got actually hot, like to the point where you couldn't touch it. Um, and it never stepped down either. And that's what a lot of, uh, a lot of other lights claim to be, you know, 5,000 lumens or 30,000 lumens, but it only lasts for like 30 seconds. I had this at the, the full turbo for like 15 or 20 minutes and it never stepped down. So I, that is pretty good for that. So uh, hopefully they'll release this before too long and we'll see what pricing is going to be on it. But I just want to share it with you guys. So I appreciate you guys watching.